Hey, what's up YouTube? This is me, the Dr. Boom Plays over here, and today is an amazing tutorial. So today's tutorial is all about how you can simply animate Minecraft using Cinema 4D. And the best part is that you don't have to be professional for that because it's all beginner's tutorial. So yeah, this is the main aim of this tutorial and this is a tutorial that you should all not miss. So in this tutorial, I will show you that how you can get your Minecraft skin. I will also show you that how you can uh, get the free and the best Minecraft rig, which I personally use for my animation. Uh, next, I will show you that how you can change your skin on your rig. And in the last, I will show you that how you can simply animate your character. And I'll also show you that how you can render it out. So by the end of this tutorial, be able to create up nice looking, simple Minecraft animation for your channel banner, for your logos, and for anything like that. So yeah, this is an amazing tutorial. And hopefully in the next tutorial, I will show you that how you can um, uh, just do uh, advanced animations like walking, running, maybe even throwing the just weapons and stuff like that and maybe in another tutorial I'll show you that how we can use these animations to create a nice looking intro of your own so it's gonna be a whole bunch of fun informative tutorial so yeah let's start so first of all you need to get your minecraft skin a lot of you may not know so you need to go into this uh, uh, link which will be in the description so here instead of username you have to write in your username that you want so uh, basically I myself have don't any uh, specific or permanent username so I will be using one of my friends username so uh, just type in your username and press enter and the skin's gonna come up like that so uh, just uh, uh, right click on it and click save image as and save it as on desktop or anything you want to rename it so I'm gonna it, rename it as skin because it's a pretty long name and it's gonna be a PNG file which we all will be needing so save it as desktop so there you go you got a nice looking skin and yeah that's a nice skin I know so this is how you get your Minecraft skin the next thing you will need to have is a Minecraft rig so this is basically the rig that I'm using is Weed Lions rig actually it has two types of rig a uh, paid one and a free one uh, I will be using a free one because uh, free one is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, this is the rig that I use, normally use to animate my stuff. So, uh, this is the forum. You can also download some other stuff from Weedline. So, um, this is an amazing forum. But I'll put the link to download that Weedline free rig specifically. It's a metafile link. So, download the rig. And after that, uh, it's an RAR file by the way, so you need to extract it by using WinRAR or any extractor. So, uh, the download link for the WinRAR will be in the description. So, download WinRAR first and uh, then extract it. So, um, after when you have downloaded it, Minecraft Speed Rig, it's gonna come up with something like that in WinRAR. So, we're gonna extract it. So, extract it to somewhere you want, uh, such as desktop, and then as you can see it's a file uh, which is not suitable for Cinema 4D I mean you cannot directly open it up with the help of Cinema 4D so uh, you need to place it somewhere so let me show you where you have to place it just cut it and then go to the folder where have where you have installed Cinema 4D and uh, it's gonna be it can be C and uh, it can be any folder where you have installed Cinema 4D for me it's D, I have installed my Cinema 4D in D so it can be any folder for you so afterwards this is the folder you need to go to uh, library go to browser and paste it there I, ha uh, I have already a mid line rig so I'm gonna replace it there and don't worry about all these files you're only gonna have this file uh, like that no not this one but you're only gonna have this file all of these files are um, mother stuff that I use on Cinema 4D but you're only gonna have this file so and now um, we're pretty much done we have our 
uh, we have our rig, we have our skin, so now it's it just comes to Cinema 4D. So uh, uh, just open up Cinema 4D and yeah, wait, yeah. <laughs> so uh, now when Cinema 4D is open, you're gonna go to Window, you're gonna go to Content Browser and wait for it to work. Damn it, you know. I have opened a whole bunch of programs, so uh, let me close it down. So these are a whole bunch of things that I'll be I am using, and but for you, it's gonna be this one, uh, not this one, this one that says Minecraft Steve rig. So when you're gonna click on this folder, it shows you two rigs. So let me just uh, shrink it down so that you can see what's just happening around our perspective. Uh, this one is with no face like if your rig has a face on it uh, which is exactly the case uh, of mine my rig has face on it already my skin has face on it already so i'm not going to be using this uh um, i will be using this uh where it is <laughs> never mind i'll be using this no face rig but if you don't have a face on your rig then you will be using it so i'm going to show you both of them so first of all this this one is a pretty complex one so let me show you the complex one first so just double click on that and you will get it, double click on that and you will get it as well. Uh, just left click on this arrow and I'll drag it out. So these are two leaks as you can see from here. No facial expression is this one and main is this one. So um, by the way, uh, let me show you that how you na navigate around this 3D view. If, you have, if you're using Cinema 4D for the first time, by the way I'm using Cinema 4D R14. So, um, you left click uh, on your uh, left click your mouse and hold uh, the in one key on your keyboard and that is how you ban here and there like in the 3D view and next if you press 3 on your keyboard and, uh, and press left click and then drag your mouse you will be able to um, rotate and if you want to zoom in and out simply scroll uh, the mouse wheel button and that is how you navigate around so you need to pra practice a lot and that is how you navigate so well anyways so now we have our skin let me show you that how you can change your skin on it uh, so maybe this one is no yeah that, that one so uh, actually this one is I guess for this no face one and this one is I guess for this with the face so let me show you how you can change that so um go to the chart just double click on uh, this char.png from the texture tab this is called the texture tab to so double click on this char.png here go to color and just click on the texture right next to arrow and click on load image there you uh, just uh, open up your skin that you have downloaded so uh, this is my skin I already show you how you can download it select now it's not necessary and there you go you have your skin on it so you can do the same with the second one let me show you that uh, but let me show you another thing so when you upload your skin on uh, this face one it looks horrible <laughs> horrible 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 so uh, let me undo that that looks horrible. That is why uh, um, for my skin, I'll be uh, I was I'll be using this the steel with no face. So um, because it's cool. So yeah, that is how you change your skin. So now it all comes to how you can simply animate it. So um, yeah, we have done all of our steps. Uh, we now know how we how we can get our skin. We now know that which one is the best rig, and we also know how we can change the skin on our rigs so now it comes to how we can simply animate our uh, rig so yeah let me show you that so um, for normally people do is just open up the bones and stuff like that and it just really gets just you know pretty random and blunder and uh, it's not easy so what I normally do is double click on that to get this uh, visual selector which is I guess pretty handy and that is why uh, I like this uh, rig because it has a visual selector which I guess uh, none of the other rigs have so with this selector you can just individually select the bones and stuff and you don't have to open this I key chain so visual selector is awesome and yeah so um, 
uh, before just going into that let me show you how you can just uh, change the facial expression for the no facial expression you cannot change the uh, the facial expression on it because it has no face and eyes on it but for the Steve rig that have face face facial expression on it uh, you can change them so let me show you that you click on Steve main when you click on Steve main you'll get options like that which you can change so let's get into these options so in the armor tab you can put on armor by checking that mark you can put, put on chest plate and boots and stuff like that now you can also in the hair color double click and you can change the hair, co hair color to something uh, fiery <laughs> like that actually it's the eyebrows color and if you want to undo press ctrl z on your keyboard and you can undo that so uh, you can also change the skin color and make it like black or anything you like and I don't know why it's not changing but um I, I guess it's a glitch oh, so now you can also change the eye color you can make it green just like a zombie oh my god that looks horrible <laughs> so you can also rotate the pupils to make uh, nice animations out of it and with the help of this closer just left click on it and you can just rotate it around <laughs> that, that's weird sorry now you can also make increase and decrease the pupil size. I don't know why we do that, but um, actually you can make it zombie. <laughs> that looks horrible. Uh, yeah, you can make it zombie. You can also rotate your eyebrows. As you can see, they're rotating very well. And I'm gonna make it uh, like angry. You can also rotate the left eyebrow position and the right eyebrow position, and that looks cool. Eyelids. I don't know what they do because I never tried it. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh my god. Never mind. <laughs> and you can also change the smile. Oh my god, that's looking creepy. By the way, this is gonna be uh, an epic villain. Yeah, doesn't make sense, I know. Smile rotation. Oh my god. Oh my god, it, it holy... It's just blah blah. <laughs> it looks like a skeleton. I don't know why, but that's you can make teeth spacing oh you can actually make him whole old like that like he has no teeth but but you can also change this stuff so that's pretty amazing you can play with this stuff so now after the facial expression it comes to uh, animating the bones and stuff so double click on that visual selector I already have it open uh, just close them Together. Yeah, this is a visual selector for uh, the Steve main, which is the, with the facial expression. So when you click on this one that says right foot on it, and when you click one of these arrows, actually these are three arrows which re represent the position in the space. So when you click one of these arrows, you can actually move it, move it around, so you can cr create a nice looking animation like that. So let me let me create something nice. So we'll do the same with the left foot, uh, something like that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It looks like a pee position. I mean, it feels like uh, he wants to pee, but that's cool. <laughs> that's okay. Pee position. <laughs> and the next, you can animate the uh, animate the hand. I'll make him like that, gray. Like yeah, I'm in pee position. Yeah. <laughs> And you can also do the same with the with the second hand. And actually, uh, you have this elbow, so you can just rotate around the elbow like that. I mean, V's line rig is pretty amazing. All other rigs don't have this um, uh, this feature except for I guess Anish Ridge rig. But V's line's rig is amazing because it's free and it's awesome. You can also uh, lower down its body. Oh my god, more V position and make him jump like that. Yeah, P, P, out. Okay, not gonna use that anymore. You can just rotate the neck like that to make him creepy. Yeah, to make this kind of animation. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much you can do with the animation. And look at this dear one. Nice. So, 
yeah that is how you animate with help of visual selector which is i guess an important feature and amazing feature of these line rigs so yeah so now it comes to how you can render it out like that so in order to render it out or what i can say in order to get an image of this let me delete the one with no facial expression so in order to get the uh, image out of this in order to render it out first of all you need to go into render settings uh, for if you're using HD pictures or something like that if you make HD videos so select the height as 1280 and width as actually 1280 and height as 720 and leave all the things as they are now go and just go to the save tab and select this as PNG because it's a still image and we want a, a transparent background so in order to have a transparent background just click, do click on this alpha channel otherwise you're not going to have a transparent or checkered background now in order to make your render smooth you go to effect go to ambient occlusion leave it as like that go to effect global illumination uh, in global animation go to sampling make the samples low uh, the third tab make the record density low and now you're done with your render setting and one more thing go to uh, save and select the output folder and I'll be using it as desktop and name it anything you want so I'll be making a uh, pain position <laughs> never mind <laughs> yeah oh J at the end makes me crazy because that doesn't even rhyme yeah so let me start just make the position go nice like that looks fine so now you click on this uh window have uh this uh, play video player icon having window and you're gonna be able to render it out so i'll come after it renders out because it's gonna take time for me so yeah so yeah guys, I'm back and I've, uh, I have rendered out my image and that looks pretty creepy, <laughs> the pain position. And yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention, you need to put on the light and so in order to get a clear image, so I will show you that. Just click on this light, uh, keep on clicking this light until you get something like that. And oh, by the way, it doesn't show like that, so just click on that in order to add a light use these arrows uh, to drag here and there in order to get a nice bright pos position and then you can just render it out again uh, actually I'm not gonna save it as but that is how you add light if you like feeling that why it's all coming black and stuff like that so yeah you need to add light just by clicking on this and dragging the light anywhere you want you can also rotate it by using rotate tool uh, to anywhere you like and yeah so now render it out and let me show you how's my picture how's my theme position and yeah that looks pretty awesome yeah horrible and awesome and now you can use it to uh, animate your banners your profile picture so let me show you that I've already set up my background so drag in your Photoshop and just apply a bunch of and there you go now you can make nice looking banners and and profile picture and stuff like that so that's all for this simple tutorial uh, yeah in the next tutorial I will show you that how you can animate actually how you can advance and anim advancedly animate Minecraft uh, just like uh, walking running and maybe even throwing some weapons or doing animations with weapons so next tutorial will be on how we can make advanced animations on Minecraft and maybe in the next tutorial I will show you that uh, how you can create your very own intro using the animations using the Minecraft animations but till then enjoy this uh, video enjoy this tutorial practice uh, till I come up with another amazing episode amazing tutorial on Minecraft Animation, give me your feedback, share this video and yeah, thanks guys for watching, I like you.